بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلاب المرحلة الرابعة إن شاء الله زينين محاضرتنا لهذا اليوم This is This is orthonormal sequence Ortho Sorry Ortho Orthonormal Sequence This is level four. Definition. An orthonormal sequence Sequence <clears throat> is a finite or infinite or infinite sequence of vector of vectors forming forming an orthonormal system an ortho normal system this is definition of Orthonormal sequence. <clears throat> An orthonormal sequence is a finite or infinite, finite or infinite sequence of vectors forming orthonormal system. This is not any vectors. Not any vectors. Should be has to be orthonormal system. Remarks If S is an orthonormal system The orthogonality condition Condition can be expressed can be expressed by means of the Kronecker Delta Kronecker's Delta as follows This is page number Phi n, phi m, chronical delta, is equal to delta n m. This is equal to zero if n is not equal to m, and this is equal to one if n is equal to m. Call this is a chronical delta. Now we take examples of orthonormal system. 
examples of ortho normal system example one s is equal to e n belongs to l2 says that e n is equal to zero 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 and one and all of this will be zero with one in the nth position and n belongs to natural number n That mean elements of S A1 is equal to 1, 0, 0, and so on. A2 is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, and so on. A3 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and so on. And, of course, this is for all N belongs to natural number this set s is an ortho normal system for l2 a cupid with The inner product, the inner product S P is equal to summation I equal one to infinity S I P I conjugate for all S P belongs to L. This is a clear this is on or uh, on orthonormal system because if we sum any two vectors here we sum e1 with e2 will be not some uh, but uh, take uh, inner product and this by this product this with this sum plus this with this plus this so this is will be zero and this is with this all two vectors will be zero and if we take vector with itself e1 inner product e1 e1 will be one and e2 e2 will be one e3 e3 will be one all of them will be one so this is clear is a vector space this is clear sorry this is clear is an orthonormal system this is clear is an orthonormal system this is page number two and now we take second example example two s is equal to phi m of x this is equal to this is equal to exponential i m x over 2 pi root of 2 pi 
such that M belongs to Z. Z integer numbers. Z is integer numbers. This is is an ortho normal system for L2 minus pi with pi. A cupid with the inner product the inner product f g is equal to integral from minus pi to pi f of x g of x conjugate here d x for all f g belongs to l2 of minus pi pi now check this is is now check uh, is phi m belongs to l2 we have to check phi m belongs to all two to l2 or not check does phi m belongs to L2 of minus pi pi this is a question so this is if phi m belongs to L2 has to satisfy the condition of phi 2 this is we can answer yes observe that Integral from minus pi to pi absolute value phi m of x squared dx. This is will be equal to <coughs> this is will be equal to integral minus pi 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 minus pi pi and this is will be this is will be phi m of x phi m of x conjugate dx this is a true because this is by this def by definition uh, definition of con complex numbers phi phi conjugate will be absolute value square and we substitute substitute this is here and this is here will be this will be equal to integral from minus pi to pi and phi m equal what equal this is exponential i m x over 2 root of 2 pi and this is conjugate will be minus this is will be minus minus i m x because this is conjugate if you take this conjugate so this is minus over 2 pi dx and this is equal to move this will be 1 over 2 pi this is here and this is minus pi to pi and this is will be 1 
1 dx because this is if we sum this will be 0 e to power 0 will be 1 and this is will be 1 over 2 pi 2 pi and this is equal to 1 this is less than infinity So, phi m belongs to L2 of minus pi, pi. Now we check that uh, phi m is orthonormal system. And this is, of course, also, thus, also shows that phi norm of phi m equal to 1. Because this is phi m phi m equal to 1. For all m belongs to z. So, this is satisfy the orthonormal this is implies phi m is orthonormal orthonormal this is page number three now Check the orthogonality. Check the orthogonality. Take Take phi m, phi k belongs to S. We take 2 with m is not equal to k. Then, inner product have to be equal to 0. Has to be equal to 0. Inner product phi m with phi k is equal to integral from minus pi to pi phi m of x phi k of x conjugate by definition dx if we substitute here oh, this will equal, will equal be 1 over 2 pi integral from minus pi to pi here and here uh, i m x minus i k x dx of course this is will equal b 1 over 2 pi integral of minus pi to pi e I m minus k x and this is the x and we can integral this function this is will be 1 over 2 pi i m minus k e to power i m minus x uh, minus uh, k here x here here x this is minus pi and to pi and this is all equal to b this is the same 1 over 2 pi i m minus k and this is will be e 
to the power i m minus k by minus a to the power minus i m minus k by. And this is by definition will be equal to 1 over 2 pi i m minus k. This is will be cosine, this definition cosine m minus k pi plus i sine m minus k pi. And this is here minus, so this is minus minus cosine m minus k pi. And this is because here minus, so this is minus minus will be plus plus i sine m minus k pi. And this is will cancel with this because the same on this opposite sign. And this is will be zero of, oh, we can uh, sum this, we can say this is will be equal to sine i, i sine m minus k k this is 2 because here 2 sum 2 to i here 2 i sine m minus k pi over <laughs> 2 pi i m minus k k and this is sine m minus k m minus k in z for pi this is always zero so this is will be zero since m minus k is an integer and since vanishes at any multiply multiple multiple of pi so this is shows that equal zero any two different mk inner product will be zero so this is orthogonal and this is page number four now we take maybe another example we see if we can take another example or not uh, so uh, we take properties of orthonormal system now further properties of ortho normal systems first 
of all we can generalize the Pythagorean formula the Pythagorean the the Pythagorean formula to to the n orthogonal vectors so this is theorem generalized Pythagorean formula if phi 1 until phi n are orthogonal vectors in an inner product space in an inner product space v this is another product then norm of summation i from 1 to n phi i this is square is equal to summation i from 1 to n inner uh, norm of phi i square proof by induction case n equal to already proved it correspond to the usual Pythagorean formula this is page number five Assume formula holds for n minus one, i.e. summation i from one to n minus one phi i square is equal to summation i from 1 to n minus 1 norm of phi i square this is a star <clears throat> by a previous a previous theorem
phi n will also be orthogonal to the linear combination summation I equal 1 to n minus 1 phi i. Let, this is by theorem. By theorem, if, if phi n is orthogonal, then <clears throat> phi n is orthogonal to each linear combination of phi i. I mean, one from 1 to n minus 1 let phi is equal to summation i from 1 to n minus 1 phi i and epsi is equal to phi n this is epsi equal to phi n <coughs> then norm of summation i from 1 to n phi i square is equal to norm of summation i from 1 to n minus 1 phi i plus phi n this is square this is move n from summation here plus here so this is a true and this is a cool what a cool phi here here this is a cool phi so so but you substitute here phi this is norm of phi plus phi and all square now apply usual Pythagorean formula this is will be equal to norm <clears throat> um, sorry, this is here. We uh, we assume that this is phi n equal to psi. So we have here here move here uh, take psi here psi. So this is by Pythagorean formula, usual Pythagorean formula equal to phi square plus norm of epsi square this is by pythagorean formula and now back this is equal to summation i from 1 to n minus 1 what phi i here square plus and this is epsi equal to phi n square now this is apply what applies star this is a star this equal this and this will be this now apply star what we get this equal this so we can Substitute here this call this this call summation i from one to n minus one norm of phi i square plus norm of phi n square and this is will be equal to summation i from one to n norm of phi i square and this is finish proof this page six now i think this is enough for today and we can uh, take
and the next lecture some materials and some examples and some properties of orthogonal and orthonormal system. Good luck, thank you very much.